It is surprising to know that vertical photovoltaic installations can provide enhanced fire safety compared to traditional diagonal or flat solar arrays. It is not just a theory anymore. Researchers in Slovenia have proven such unexpected positive feature in vertical photovoltaic systems, resulting in a rapid fire propagation that can occur beneath inclined panels. To put this in perspective, we are now putting our solar panels at a high possibility of burning only just by selecting the wrong ordination of photovoltaic panels. You will be surprised to know that such energy gain is due to a mysterious factor no one has thought of before, and it is not related to having more heat. So, do you agree with the researchers to change all rooftop solar systems to be vertical? Knowing that vertical solar PV panels also can yield less dust accumulation and a lower chance of attaching dirt from birds. And most importantly, vertical panels require significantly less ground space. So, watch the video till the end to know the main reasons for such an unexpected twist in PV arrangements. Do not forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. Is it scary to set fire to your solar panels? Do not be worry. They are smart researchers performing an exciting experiment. Recent tests conducted by the Slovenian National Building and Civil Engineering Institute are performed to determine whether that vertical photovoltaic installations can provide enhanced fire safety compared to traditional diagonal or flat solar arrays or not. These experiments specifically can highlight the rapid fire propagation that can occur beneath vertical or inclined panels. This recent groundbreaking test reveals a surprising truth about fire safety in rooftop solar installations. So now, are your solar panels as safe as you think? Unfortunately, they are not fireproof. In their study, the researchers from the Slovenian National Building and Civil Engineering Institute evaluated the fire safety characteristics of vertical rooftop PV systems. Their findings indicate that these systems offer superior safety features in comparison to conventional rooftop arrays. The tests employed vertical solar modules supplied by Norwegian company OverEasy and Italian certification body Istituto Giordano. To establish a baseline, a standard configuration of inclined PV panels was also used. Two standalone samples were installed at an angle adjacent to a larger roof segment. One setup featured expanded polystyrene, so-called EPS, insulation directly covered by a membrane composed of two layers of bitumen with mineral wool placed beneath the EPS to protect the underlying components and to maintain the height of both samples. In this configuration, mineral wool was not considered part of the roof itself. In a second setup, an additional mitigation layer of mineral wool was inserted between the insulation and the top cover, using the same roof structure made of bitumen, mineral wool, and EPS as in the first setup. For the traditional setup, a pre-used solar panel with a glass top and polymer back sheet was mounted on an aluminum system, measuring approximately 1.6 by 1.0 meters. The vertical panels, also pre-used and bifacial with glass on both sides, were mounted on an aluminum system and measured 1.6 by 0.25 meters. These panels were spaced 0.4 meters apart. A wood crib was used as the ignition source, chosen based on standards that recommend wood due to its multi-directional heat transfer properties, which more accurately simulate real-world fire conditions compared to other sources like gas burners. The cribs were strategically placed to represent the worst-case scenario for both panel configurations. For the inclined panels, the crib was positioned near the bottom edge, where the gap between the membrane and the panel's backside was 11 centimeters, reflecting recent findings on fire spread beneath PV panels. For the vertical setup, the crib was located near the junction box, and in other setups, it was positioned centrally within the samples. Before ignition, the cribs were soaked with five, six milliliters of isopropyl alcohol to ensure quick and even ignition. All four cribs were ignited within five seconds using a lighter. The test revealed that the fire in the unmitigated sample was extinguished about 12.5 meters after ignition due to the deformation of the insulation, which prevented the complete burning of the EPS. The fire beneath the PV panels was extinguished approximately 15 meters after ignition, once the entire inclined panel was engulfed in flames. Researchers emphasized that even with the larger fire, only minimal damage to the EPS was observed, crediting the mineral wool with providing an effective mitigation layer in this configuration. They noted that this setup could represent a typical roof buildup where EPS requires a mitigation layer to prevent total involvement in a fire. 
According to the researchers, the comparison between vertical and inclined PV panels vividly illustrates how inclined panels create conditions conducive to rapid fire spread on the roof membrane, whereas the same materials in other setups do not allow flame propagation. They strongly advise against omitting a mitigation layer between the roof membrane and heat-sensitive insulation, regardless of the type or geometry of PV panels installed. With vertical solar panels, there is no cavity for fire to spread. The researchers clarified that while regular solar panels are generally safe, vertical panels offer additional benefits, particularly for buildings where fire safety is a significant concern, making them a potentially valuable solution. So why haven't we seen more vertical PV panels till now? Switching to such vertical solar panels, however, presents certain obstacles. For property owners, vertical solar panels have several limitations that should be addressed. These include a scarcity of competent installation businesses because most technicians are educated in horizontal installation methods, making it more difficult to locate competence in vertical panel installation. Furthermore, whether for commercial or residential premises, vertical panel installation presents obstacles owing to the requirement for specialized staging, mounting gear, and increased safety concerns as compared to horizontal installations. As a result, the installation costs for vertical panels are often greater, increasing the total expenditure. Furthermore, maintaining and repairing vertical panels can be challenging, necessitating the installation of scaffolding other unsafe ways of technician access, increasing the complexity and cost of upkeep. So please share your thoughts on this novel approach of arranging PV panels. Do you think it will be noticeable when applied anywhere? Your remarks encourage us to continue our efforts to promote renewable energy in the hopes of a clean and bright future. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.